finally we have rice dried 8.0 that means android 13 tiramisu build for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well let's get started with the settings and about section and i want to thanks mr unicorn for building this one and rise ways or rise ui uh, version 3.0 and here is the android version and user interface of rise dried device and here we have aosp and 8.0 rise os version and android security update which is november that means from this month and this month security update has a bit a uh, problem i will talk about that problem a later part of this video so watch till the end and uh, build version is here and kernel use lineage os and which is always smooth and we have here system language and input and you guys will get it in vanilla build so g apps are uh, required to use google play store so download nicap score and flash then we have the buttons if you want to uh, use um, and uh, is yeah, enable taskbar if you want to use taskbar instead of that navigation pill bar then enable taskbar then you will be able to switch uh, any application very faster just quick switch like this any application which shown on the bottom side of taskbar you guys can easily use I don't need to use it right now so I am turning this off then we have the regular customization as usual and if people already know rise dread always comes with huge huge customization and if you want to take uh, if you want to show panel on left that means display volume panel on the left side if you want to just like this just click your volume panel on the left side you guys will get it and this is the live caption and if you want to take partial screenshot just short click volume down and power to take partial screenshot and then we have another things like gesture you guys can do customization like um, a swipe to screenshot and navigation peel bar customization you can do that and then we have system profiles like uh, lineage OS you guys can select and at the end we have the device settings which is my sound enhancer and of course you people already know about that i don't want to waste your time and then we have the google password and accounts and other things like finally we have the face unlock in android 13 and this is the first room for redmi 7 we have uh, the face unlock and fingerprint as well and this is face unlock and fingerprint so both are working fine no issues with that and then we have the accessibility sound and vibration as usual uh, the regular customization everything is available and power app volume control is added which is really cool then we have the storage and a bit different ui is here just like MIUI. and previously we don't have any graph like this but in that build we have and like battery section as well you guys will get uh, the graph just like MIUI then we have the wallpaper and style as usual by default we have some wallpapers uh, from pixel 7 7 pro you guys can use if you want to them and we have the wallpaper colors and basic colors themed icons and other things everything is just working fine and we then we have the display setting as usual adaptive brightness and display size and text a different ui which is from android 13 as well if you want to make text bold just click like this and your text will be bold so this is cool things and live display and eyesight and color boosted saturated and natural whatever you need you guys can select then we have the display cutout which is useless and we don't need that double tap to wake and sleep everything is fine and ambient display and full screen application which application you want to uh, run in full screen then select that one then we have the personalization before i move on to personalization i want to show you network and internet uh, what section we have in uh, our sim cards 
and how we can change the preferences which is network preferences we only have LTE and LTE recommended and 3G and we don't have any 2G option so the people who always keep using Wi-Fi uh, they will face a bit um, lower battery backup because of this uh, 3G and 4G uh, problem because they won't be able to switch to 2G and I always recommend you people to get better battery backup if you are a Wi-Fi user then of course uh, make your uh, data connection or a y, uh, internet connections whatever you say your network connection must keep in 2G so that you guys can get better battery backup now let's move on to the custom customization which is awesome lock screen fingerprint error and fingerprint authentication everything is just fine ripple effect and temperature unit just cool then you have the miscellaneous the first of all on the top we have the game space and possible customizations all are included here then we have this smart visual which is a very very uh, good feature I like it personally then we have the system boost boost system components for better performance and of course it will consume more power then we have unlock higher FPS gaming you guys will do gaming in that room no issues with that and weather setting and unlimited Google Photos storage as usual. Then we have the notification and heads up. Other things are working fine. Clear button if you need and ready card if you need. Use app color background if you need. You can can enable. Then we have the quick settings and battery percentage, battery style, brightness slider visibility and brightness slider position can be changed like top and bottom. Then we have the QS error clocks, font size and other things just you guys can do customization here on your control center and footer alert and data uses the new feature and setting shortcut and high level customization you guys do use customization here um, the columns and alignment columns landscape and portrait mode everything you guys can do and QS panel style can be changed just like this two tone accent if you need that one just click like this enable and it will be changed so let me show you now it's in two tone accent and like previous build we have a bit a lag while just scrolling the control center you guys will get a bit lag not much not like the previous one uh, it is improved in that build and status bar as usual we have other things like background chief display uh, accented chip behind clock and battery style uh, like previous uh, build and brightness control clock and date customization colored icons and logos you guys can select logos like these huge collections of logos are there and a network traffic indicator can be enabled from here and everything is just working fine here status bar icon show wi-fi standard icon show notification count as everything is fine i checked and sound and vibration you guys can select it uh, from pause and adaptive playback any user interface where you guys can change your font style icon pack monitor engine navigation bar system and signal icons system shapes system shapes can be changed then an icon shapes whatever you say and wi-fi icon style everything can be changed and about phone style can be changed default and center wallpaper banner and center wallpaper banner big just like this system UI can be required to restart and this is the uh, new UI of the about section or whatever you say this is the about section you have to click like this and you will get that about section and user interface is just like this and setting style can be changed as well oxygen ways and google material u and ions card ui just enable like just like this and get back and your setting has been changed just like this you guys can see on the um, before we have the icon packs are on the left side now uh, all are in right side so this is the ui you guys can change easily 
this is the user interface and just everything is fine I checked and working pretty much fine and faster and accurate now let's talk about the smoothness and of course we have the call recording option let me show you from settings go to and go to sound and vibration then scroll down and audio format can be selected AMR, WV and AC which what you need and auto call recording can be enabled from here when you make a phone call then you will be able to record the phone calls and the smoothness just cool not bad as it is a very heavier custom room and i don't recommend to use in uh, 2gb ram devices and run the safety net which is passed by default you guys don't need to worry about it banking application can be used easily i already checked maybe network issue that's why it's taking some time and here is the smoothness and which is mind-blowing i guess no issues with that now let's talk about the november security update which uh, make your camera freeze and here is the default camera just open it only default camera is working and other things are not working and app no isn't installed it's showing right now but click on that you will be able to open camera and it's working fine it's uh, able to take photos and capture videos as well but problem comes with gcam you won't be able to use any gcam because it will make your device freeze and force close just like this i am using here two gcam oh, no no one is uh, none is working so like this so this is the security problem of that uh, november november security update problem but it will be fixed on next update so don't worry if you want to use this right now it's up to you if you want to use you can use if you don't want to use then leave it so i need to show you people that's why i am showing this thing and if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching